Hey everybody, Coach Brew here. I want to uh, take you on a little ride with me. We are headed in studio to record uh, what's going to be a regular segment called Monday Morning Motivation here at uh, Z105. And it's quite possibly one of the coolest little radio stations that you'll ever see. Uh, the whole point of this sort of MTV crib style thing is to show you their office because well they do a great job taking uh, an invisible or an intangible and making it tangible i literally just walked in the front door and i'm in studio with the great matt boutwell and it's got a real northern exposure if you're old enough to remember the tv show northern exposure uh, they ran a radio show right out of the front window of a main street what used to be a retail establishment and that's really what z105 here in auburn has captured maddie say hello to your many fans hi mom perfect okay so how do you take an invisible or an intangible and make it tangible in your business you know they have people uh, they've had guests stop in musicians performers right matt who came in and and uh Hang on. Here we go. There you go. Who came in and uh, heard about you guys as a result of having the studio front and center right here on Center Street in the front window? Let's see. Recording artist Xavier E. was vacationing here. He stopped by because he actually saw it on the sign. Um, Ronnie Miller, who is the steel guitarist for country music sensation Charlie Pride, the legend, uh, he stopped in because he saw it on the, uh, he saw it on the sign. And people see something about a radio station on a sign, they're automatically drawn to it. We've had people come in just to tell us about their neighborhood watch program that they're starting. Um, we've had you know local local people come in and tell us about their their charitable thing that they've got going on, and they ask if they can come in and talk about it. That wouldn't be happening if we just didn't have a sign out here and there was nothing going on. Not trying to draw attention to ourselves, but trying to let people know that we're here. People are using us as a resource. Awesome. So the question is, how can you take an intangible and make it a tangible in your business? Because sometimes people need to be able to see it, touch it, feel it, and uh, reach out directly. Let people know that you're there. And uh, when you let people know that you're there, let them know how they can get a hold of you when you are there. Um, let them know your hours. Have somebody here. If you say you're going to be live, be live. If you say you're going to have somebody on call, have somebody on call. Those are the sort of things that, that draw that uh, that habitual listening to things and that habitual listening for things and then people start to count on you and people start to come looking in at you so that's really what it is just do what you say you're going to do don't give them all your dreams don't give them all your hopes give them what you're doing now and then once they're in you can tell them what you want to do in the future people buy results love it maddie check them out z1055.com thanks